Hey guys, my name is Ismail. So this week I've been on a journey safely on the internet, exploring some amazing tools, free open source tools that I can add to my workflow. And I can tell you I've not been disappointed. So today allow me to introduce you to Magic Voxel uh, that creates a lot of these kind of blocky blocky renders uh, that you might see on Instagram or on the internet. Yeah, so a lot of these amazing tools go unnoticed and uh, I'm making it my responsibility to share some of them with you. Uh, so today let's explore what Magic Voxel can do. If you go to their page, I'll be leaving a link in the description. You can see how amazing uh, the renders look. So I think this uh, uses ray tracing. I've already downloaded uh, the project here. Uh, so that we can explore it but i wanted to take a moment to just appreciate uh, the kind of renders uh, that uh, their community has been able to render to make and uh, if you just look at uh, their slider here you can see some amazing work here you may actually think that this was done in the traditional modeling but uh, this is all voxel modeling uh, blender also has a voxel modeling feature you don't model but uh, you can make a model uh, through uh, the normal way of doing things uh, let's add a suzanne head here and uh, if you add uh, a remesh modifier, you have the option to use blocks here, which is basically the same as uh, voxel modeling. So you can see you get the same thing and I just change uh, the, the, uh, the depth here or the resolution of the boxes. And uh, yeah, so this is the same of modeling, but this, is, this tool is a standalone tool uh, that you can use to model they have a really great uh, rendering pipeline i think because uh, you can see this really look very nice and uh, from this view you can't really tell if this is voxel or just regular models because uh, they really look super realistic uh, the materials are good except here this looks uh, like a minecraft kind of pull out for some renders here are just spectacular and uh, look at this the amazing detail that goes into this and uh yeah this uh this scene here looks quite amazing as well so and they can also check out some of uh the, what the community is doing here just uh, to see uh yeah so this is free you download it from from github so if you just click on uh, download here it takes you to github and uh, you can download it directly there so just select any of what you want to use here uh, either Mac OS or Windows and uh, you'll be able to use it uh, but, uh, yeah so let's go in just to explore how this works let me first clear all of this uh, so this is the software and I uh, have a few samples here uh, you can see if you select any of these uh, projects you can see some of the demo files and to see the fully rendered version you just go here I have uh, two buttons here for the model work workspace and uh, then the render workspace where you can see the fully rendered uh, thing uh, it uses ray tracing to render things uh, you can see these sh shadows uh, it's quite amazing so if you get tired of uh, the normal modeling you can come on here and play with the application and see how uh, that works out for you uh, so you can see there are quite a few great samples here and uh, you can find more even more uh, on there on their website our community so let's see uh, so let me just do a quick preview on uh, how to create this uh, something here so uh, you have these brushes here and uh, you can have you can start with this uh, kind of a plain or cube uh, tool here and if you draw that okay, this is quite large for what I want to do is let me, let me find a smaller box so so you can uh, use this brush to draw cubes or erase them or simply paint I, this, you just have you have to choose a color but so uh, let's clear this because this cube is too small and that to increase this, the kind of the resolution you can just uh, times that let's first add something i think let's use Let's use a cube this time instead of using a plane let's just use a 3d okay so if you're in paint you won't be able to draw the cubes you have to use attach uh, or erase uh, to do something so let's do that i want this to increase the resolution, the resolution of this let's times this now let me 
clear this so that we can start from scratch. Uh, we want to do something like a simple room. Uh, so you can select attach and then a plane. Uh, because we want to start to draw a plane, I'm not going to use this cube. I'm just going to use a 2D cube or a 2D plane. And let me select a more tan tan color. I'll just draw one cube like that and then select this extrude tool so I can extrude it uh, this way and then extrude it just drag this way now to create the wall I can also add and uh, go to the plane and you can increase uh, the size of the voxel here or reduce uh, the voxel so it's like scaling up your brush or scaling it down so we can do something like that and then get the extrude drag and drag uh, get this let's reduce this to a size of two like that extrude this side extrude up uh, let's get the paint paint that white and I uh, can uh, and that's brown let me be let's get uh, okay that's too much something like that now you can go to the render view and see what you have done so let's go back to the model uh, if you if say you want to add a tv you can do the same thing the same steps we have done so they have a few amazing tools here that you can use and uh, you can also use the eraser to erase parts of what you have done like that and uh, if you go to their website don't forget to check out their resources and uh, also they have this viewer which is another standalone uh, application that lets you preview different other projects other people's projects and uh, if you go to their resources you can see some tutorials and uh, other creators that have been uh, what other creators have done uh, let me just play for you their demo video here just to see what they have been able to do with this uh, i can see it their the renders just look amazing especially if you know what you're doing uh, so yeah, just go to the website look at their resources and uh, see what you can do with this application uh, because I'm sure a lot of you are, might be interested in uh, using an application like this. Yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.